All right, hello everybody. Uh, so as you've probably seen from the stream title, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. We are not gonna be playing uh, Sims, we are going to be playing Outer Wilds. Uh, this game like came out a couple years ago and I know like a lot of people really, really, really loved it when it came out. Um, and so like, I'm super excited to be able to play it myself. Um, I know it's a puzzle game, and that's kind of, like, all I know about it. Um, and I know, like, a lot of people, like, really like the music in it. Um, I think it's... pretty sure it's a space game. Pretty sure I saw. Like, I was testing, uh, this game out a little bit earlier just to see, like, how, um, it would look, like, on stream and everything. Let me actually move me here. Oh, 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 what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, I gotta move the webcam. Let's move you over here. Okay. That should be good. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like I literally know nothing else about it, so get into it, see what we see. Wake up. Hello? Uh, okay. Is that our ship? Oh no. Hello? Talk to Slate. There's our pilot, back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, huh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Um, are you sure you fixed the retro rockets? That was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that, but hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, we'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfeld at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay, so Hornfeld's at the observatory. I'm gonna guess we get to the observatory up there. I want to explore a little bit real quick. Jump! Oh, hold. Okay. Interesting jump mechanic. Actually, that, oh, that's probably the observatory up there. So I'm gonna go back down here and see what I see. 
requires launch codes. Okay, so that's up to the rocket. I see. Okay. Okay. Hello? There's like two different paths I can take. Let's see if I can... Whoop! Can't go there. Okay. The only path forward. It's you! Slate said you'd blast it off on your ship. Ooh. Let me take that again. Slate said you're blasting off on your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Uh. Hey, I'm still going. You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like a real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Hey, it's you! Oh, okay. Uh, I hear you and Slate beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? Yeah, we recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters. Want to give it a test drive? Slate says it's just like a real thing, only less like likely to start a fire. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you got! Okay, is this... My model ship. Okay. Okay, okay. Up and down. Uh, I gotta find out where these controls are on my thing. So, left control, left shift. Okay, okay. Uh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, that's... Hang on. I'm just gonna reset that. Okay. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Oh shit. No, hang on. Hang on. Oh, what is this doing? Skip frames. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm s just saying I'm still going. Okay. I hope the stream didn't drop. I think we're okay. I think we're fine. <laughs> I hope my computer can handle this stream. Oh my god. Okay. Let me try that again. Okay. Oh, that is choppy. Oh no. Okay. Hang on. Uh, graphics. I'm gonna scale this down a little bit. Body. Uh. Hard ratio. Show quality. I'm gonna tick some of these down. It's SSAO quality. I mean, okay. Okay. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Oh, that's much better. Okay. Cool. Um. Ah! No! supposed to get it like in the uh... oh, oh hey look at that That bodes well. Huh. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We're not going to talk about it. Uh... Do I, hello? Port fee. Ayo, hatchling! 
I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, we need to see you and me and Gasan go up, go up, open up a bottle of the good stuff. Hell yeah. I was thinking of once one star actually, other stars are too far away, or the good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Iron stomach is the mark of a true earthy and my friend. A hearty hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error, by which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. Okay. Hello? The whole ass food. Okay. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? Uh, they really don't explode as often, or I told- I'm told- I'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. They don't explode that often anymore. All I know is between the space program and Micah's model rockets, seem, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Okay. Satellite camera- ooh! This projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Oh, hey! I'm gonna talk to every one of these people. It was launch day, huh? I was gonna miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. Wouldn't mind helping out in the space program. Just say the word. Launch pad is flammable? <laughs> you didn't realize that? Don't worry, it's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours. Probably. Cool, Marl, thanks! Thanks for that. Hi! Hello there, Space Skidot. I feel you're leaving the crater today. If you need any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Just say hi before I leave. Take care of yourself up in space. Observatory, thank you. Helpful sign. Oh, hi. Hello, astronaut. Food isn't my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it? Uh, sure, let's play. Woohoo! Okay. Here are the rules. Glenn and me will hide in these with these radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. This is fun. Okay.
you are. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. No problem, kid. Oh, it's like, oh. Oh, days go by really fast on this planet. Interesting. Fish and run, fish and run. Singing helps me pass the time. You leaving the crater? Guess we'll all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. A big water planet, giant steep. That's where I go. What's that? One time, after the rest of the village had left to sleep and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Yapo told me about their first trip to giant steep. They landed their ship easily enough the waves, but didn't see too far down. I can't how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Yapo wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. Travel down. Down. Suddenly, Gabbro couldn't go any further. Yeah, Giant Steve has a current you can't pass through. Sure, okay, but shut up a minute. This is the park. There's no exercise in the will of its own. The water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. Hold Gabbro back. It's almost as if they were trying to protect them or something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabbro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Is there satellite involved during Gabbro's campfire story? Come to think of it, you don't have somewhere you should be exploring that isn't here. Alright, spin out. Oh, zero G cave! Hell yeah! Where's that at? or not? You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gosson said it used to be bigger when they were hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. This takes a s super long time to go away. Hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm grown up. Ghost matter is awesome. Um, you know ghost matter is how tech Tektite lost their foot, right? Whoa, really? That's so cool. Ghost matter, huh? Danger. Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter. A strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eyes. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself flooling around. Alright. Ooh, camera! Oh, wrong button. Hang on. Oh, wow. Look at that. Ooh. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. I got zero G training set up if you want a refresher. Sure. Gossip. Hey, thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Uh, I'm a little nervous, yeah? Good. Everyone should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. Still, I was never as green as you. Gotten better. I think so, do you? Feel like proving it to your old flight coach? There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the Zero G, zero -G cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last minute Zero G practice, head down the lift into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make a ship repairs in space. One repaired satellite cup. Ooh, sorry. Coming up. Cool, get to it. Try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Also, I should mention, I have not had my coffee today because <laughs> I ran out of creamer. Um, so if I am tripping over my words more than usual, that would be why. 
pastelito. Oh, pretty Jesus. Guys, I love this space is so cool. This space is so cool. Okay. Buddy. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. Getting some zero G time in. So you going in there? In the cave? Huh. What? No, I'm fine. Great. Great and fine. Uh you don't look fine. Well, you know, I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Pfft. Now I've got hand sweats. <laughs> oh, it's it's like okay. So we're not at the zero-g cave yet. I see. Oh, we just drop. Interesting. Okay. Do you just keep dropping down? Oh. That's a really good functionality. You just press space to match velocity. Um, cool. my fuel. Awesome. Oh my god. Not knowing which way is up is trippy. too far? I did. How do we get out of here? Is it there? Oh, up and down thrust. I'm dumb. that guy. I think down here. Yeah, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good.
did it. Nicely done. Of course, it would be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch coach from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. Hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training you. Got it? Sure thing. Uh, oh, okay. Ah. Yeah. Get those launch codes. Oh, is that the observatory? That's where I need to head? Oh, what's this? Saw smoke coming from Young Bart Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher, just please don't break it while I'm gone. Tech type. Scout launcher? Las Estas. Northwest, Geyser Mountains. Okay. Young Bart Crater. No my ruins. Okay. And Quantum Grove Crater. Interesting. I'm just a little blue guy. What is this? Hello? Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Any good sounds? There are. My signal scope is set to the Outer Wilds of Interest Frequency, so I'm listening to the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Reichbeck's banjo coming from Biddle Hollow. Hope that means they're safe. You can hear different planets, too. Depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes were cool. different planets that's cool that's really cool i like that functionality okay wait what get to observatory. Ah, this way. Ooh. Oh, wow. There's so many planets. Ah, that's cool. Hello? So I know I'm spending a lot of time in like the tutorial, like area level place, um, but there's just a lot to explore with this game. I'm realizing. Hello. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members: Clockwise from top left, Hornfeld, Gosson, Slate, and Feldspar. Outer Wilds Temper. Outer Wilds Ventures Timberhurt's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Hearthian to be initially launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timberhurt and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Outer Rock. 
at Adelrock. Adelrock. Yeah. Hello? This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. It's my favorite astronaut. Launch day last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tool's inaugural of flight, too. I'm so excited it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Jeez, <laughs> uh, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. I'm, I'm very ready. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. Can't wait to see all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? You here to see the new Nomai statue? Straight for launch codes. Yeah, I get that you're dying to head into space, but seriously, you gotta see the statue before you go. It's an amazing find. Makes me wish I could see what the real life Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll, we'll ever get. Check it out! Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, oh, jeez. I get a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? He's probably talking about this guy. That is pretty cool, though. Oh, they have three eyes. Okay. Good to know. <gasps> Museum! Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the owl Atoll Rock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling at you right now. Cool. This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering our, their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Adelrock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further xenoarchaeological expeditions. <gasps> Bones! What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possess antlers, and quite unusually, only three eyes. The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Earthians couldn't have descended from Nomian, Nomian ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we ex explore our solar system. Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the Little Scout now boasts a warp retrieval cap capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Nice. 
This crystal was taken from an Omai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. <laughs> oh, that's trippy. That is trippy. Okay. Eh. What? How? This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the dark bramble. It appears well suited for living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Hey, buddy. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chert's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Fun times! But yeah, um, hydrogen bonding, hydrogen fusion, um, like, the, I forget, like, what element starts it off, but you basically, like, have, like, these, like, fusion reactions of different elements inside of a star, um, and eventually that sort of fuel just runs out, and then the star- Ooh. Hello? The star collapses, um, and then explodes into what is called a supernova. Real actual science, who'd have thunk? As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. I am reading these backwards, sorry. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. Yeah. Okay, I think that's all on this level. Is there another level of museum? I'm sorry, this entire episode is just going to be on this home planet. Just finished pre-flight observation and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai translator tool. I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. How am I doing on the street? Okay. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Um... I'm gonna wing it! Planning to follow in the footsteps of Feldspar and the great Outer Wilds Adventures tradition, are you? I might have guessed. Well, see if you can't put that translator tool of yours to good use while you're out there. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for launch. I'm ready to die in space. If not, if not one for superstition, or I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that kind of unlucky to save before a launch? At any rate, here are the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are every bit as safe as Slate could be persuaded to make them. Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Launch codes. Launch codes. Hello. Matt. Oh! Oh. Okay. Okay. We're here in Timber Hearth. Oh, and they're moving. <gasps> this game is cool. Brittle Hollow. Hollow's Lantern. Oops. Dark Bramble. Hourglass Twins. Okay, all right. Neat. What's this? This is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. 
If that's true, was everything closer together in the past? How far back can we ex extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? Winfell's observations. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I think I need to sit down. Oh, I love that. Like, I remember being in um, science class and learning about, like, the, um, the Hubble Deep Space like photos and how like mind blowing they were at the time. Okay, so I've got the launch codes. Whoop. Now I just need to go to the actual rocket. Oh, hello. The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observations. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Seems not to be moving around for me. I love that. That's so good. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I keep getting drop frames. Ah, uh, that makes me nervous. Um. Pardon me? What's that? What the fuck? Hey. I guess we just don't have time to unpack that. I'm gonna go. Hello? Hey, hey. so did you get to look at that Nomai statue? The statue was glowing. Why was it glowing? Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes opened, and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around. You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to watch? Like, medically speaking? No, that statue's definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did. But why? Hornfells tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabbro said that they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'll be able to tell you more? On the other hand, Gabbro's, you know, Gabbro. So maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and stay flying. Um, what was the translator one? Was it E? Uh, what was? Oh, I don't think that was it. Hang on. Bro, I thought I saw a whole list of things. I forget what the button was. Damn it. Oh well. Oh, that's pretty. Is there something else? Um. Wonder if I'll discover anything cool in space. Hey, you never know. Maybe we'll be the one to uncover the Nomai's mysteries. Or maybe you'll discover a new kind of rock or something. 
honestly, as long as they don't end up naming a few new safety equipment after you, I'm sure you'll have done a great job. Fair. Launch pad, launch pad, launch pad. I really love, like, the feel of this game. Tephra? Are you going into space today? Are you going into space and never come back like Felsquare did? What? Yeah, um, Hornfeld says Felsquare went away into space and didn't come back. Hornfeld says Felsquare was the best pilot ever, but no one knows what happened to him. It's not something I want to think about right now. But if Felsquare disappeared, you might disappear too, right? You're not as good as Felsquare, so you should really be careful not to get lost. Thanks, child! Great, that's I love it. Hey dude. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. Thanks, Slate. Uh launch codes. Space! Oh, this looks safe. Okay, okay. Suit up, I guess? Little scout. See beyond the horizon. Illuminate dark areas. Detect hazards. Test the environment. The one and only Herthian village, as well as the main source of explosions on this planet. The Nomai statue in the observatory opened its eyes and looked at me. I saw strange glowing lights and my own memories flash before my eyes. How says the statue has never opened its eye before, despite Hornfeld's best efforts? Dear G.D., cave at the very center of the timber hearth used by Outer Wilds Ventures to train new astronauts. I successfully repaired another satellite for good sound. says Gabra went back to Giant Steep to try to learn more about the Nomai statue in the observatory. Alright. Bye, ship log. There's the map. Okay. Look, look. I go. Wow. Wow. I'm in space. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Map. So I need to go to. Is it giant steep? Autopilot. Stage two. Accelerating towards destination. This is fun. Fun to like look around and stuff. Stage three. Firing retro rockets.
पेज पर फकिन जाए स्टीप हिरी गो We're fine. Okay. Unbuckle. Buddy, nice. It's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. For solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So, hey, don't laugh, but I think you might have some kind of spiritual. I think I might have some kind of spiritual experience with a rock shaped like a face. What? One of the islands on Giant Steep has a no my statue on the beach. Ever seen one? I brought one back to Timber Hearth with me. Big stone sculpture of no my's head, three eyes, and everything. Beautifully carved too. So one minute, I'm standing on an island looking at a Nomai sculpture on the beach. And the next thing I know, it's looking back at me, glowing. The sculpture replaces everything I've just done, like it's been washing me through my own eyes, you know? And then suddenly it stops and everything's normal again. What happened to me at the observatory? Me too, huh? It didn't seem bad, just weird. We're the only ones who saw that happen. I tried reading any horn felt and asking them about it, but they told me I must have just nodded off out here and gotten confused. Then we talked about dreams until horn felt told me to go refill my oxygen tank before I talked myself to death. So that's what's with me. But hey, let's do for a soil voyage. Let's talk about you, you know? Let's space treating you. Um, where should I explore a giant seat? There's something you might like. I saw a bright flash in the sky not too long ago. Something must have happened up there in orbit around the planet. What else? What else? Have you been to Statue Island? That's why I've been calling it, seeing as it's the island where I found the glowing no my statue. Get it? I was on the beach. Uh, yeah, I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened. By the way, it's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a solid 10 out of 10 on the Gabra relaxation scale. If you feel like checking it out, if you feel like checking out Statue Island, it's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Oop. Um. Hello? What? What? Ah! Oh, okay. Why am I floating off? Holy shit! What? The fuck is this planet? I can't, I can't get out. Stared at a sky clone for so long it started to hypnotize you. I'm telling you, they fully need a chance if you look at them long enough. Uh, what? You didn't want to explain any of that? Fine, 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 fine. I guess I'll figure it out on my own. What the fuck is this? What are these? Danger ghost matter detect. 
You know what? I'm just gonna launch the scout. Hi! Alright, ghost matter, cool! Fuck. Just gonna. Okay. Why am I here? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Gonna be honest. This planet kinda sucks. Where, what, where? Okay. Over here, I don't, I don't know where to go, y'all. Okay, you're, you're there. You're just there. I guess I can just go into the sea. Let's see what I see. It's the current. Oh, wow, look at that. Cyclones? I don't know quite what uh, how to do. I'm gonna run out of fuel. Oh, what? Hey! No! My ship! Consider what I said about space. Ah! Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me up on the island. Oh my god. Well, you know what? Let me do the smart thing. And, uh, see if I can find this. Um, 
Oh, lift shift. Hello? Oh, I'm under a goddamn tree. Okay. There we go. smart thing. Oh, no, you're not going back there yet. Oh, it's just, okay. Get me out of your gravity! Okay, it's kind of okay, it's floating off. Okay, nope. Come back. And we are matching velocity. Let's go to Brittle Hollow, alright? See what's going on there. Oh! Um, never mind. I have actually run out of time. Um, so that's Outer Wild so far. Um, I'm having fun with it. Uh, it's a little bit more harrowing than I thought it was going to be. Um, but I can't wait to see what ad other adventures that we go on. Um, yeah, this has been really fun. Um, I am going to go and get some coffee because I think my Amazon order is here. Um, I need to wake up, y'all. Uh, but yeah, that was really, really fun. I uh, can't wait to do that next Monday at the same time. Um, also, about streaming schedules. Um, I might have to kind of drastically change when I stream just because uh, my job is starting up soon. And I'm gonna have... Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna have a lot, um less time during the day to actually stream, um, but I will figure out that uh, at a later date. Um, in the meantime, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!